Hello guys, welcome to the next video on JavaFX tutorial for beginners. In the last video, I've shown you how you can create a media player using JavaFX. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add some more functionality to your media player. For example, you want to add some buttons like play, pause, you want to play your video in a faster rate or slower rate, or you want to reload your video. How you can do it, I'm going to show you in this video. So let's get started. First of all, go to your uh, main controller class, which we have created in the last video. So you need to, uh, you know, go through the last video in order to uh, catch up with this video. Okay. So in the last video, we have written uh, this code to load our video and then auto play our video. Right. Now we are going to create some uh, methods to a play pause and other functionalities right so first of all we are going to create these methods so just write public void and let's say our method name is uh, play and just add our action event here and just add an argument event and inside your method what we want to do is we want to uh, play our video so just take your uh, mp or uh, media player object and then just call a method called play here okay now uh, in the last video i've shown you how you can auto play or uh, enable the auto play functionality for your media player now you have your play button so you may not use uh, this uh, uh, auto play functionality or you may not wish to use this auto play functionality so I'm going to comment this if you want to use it you can play use it right now in the same way I'm going to create some more uh, methods one two three four and second method I'm going to name it as uh, pause third method I'm going to uh, name it as uh, fast and fourth method I'm going to name it as slow and the fifth method I'm going to name it as reload and I'm going to create two more method to uh, you know move your video to the start and the last so the second last method is start and the last method is last okay now for the pause functionality you just need to call pause uh, function on your media player object to make your video fast or run faster what you need to do is you need to uh, call a method called set rate which takes a double value so if you provide here a value of 1 then your video will run in a normal speed right and if you uh, write here 2 then your video will run in the double speed of your normal speed and if you write here 0.5 then your video will run in a slower speed which is half the speed of your original size so this is our fast function so we will run it in the double speed of the normal speed in the same way we can uh, set the rate for slower speed so just write 0.5 here which will run your video in the half speed and then to load the video you just need to call a method called seek here and which takes uh, uh, an argument which is duration right so you can just uh, call your uh, media player and then call a method called get start time so this will uh, you know move your uh, video to the start right and in the same way uh, you can uh, just pass the same function here then uh, your uh, video will be uh, moved to the start and for reloading we will add this function which is uh, play so that your video will be moved to the start and it will start playing so just write mp dot play okay so this will be your reload function and this will be your start functionality which will only move your video to the start but it will not play right now the next 
and the last functionality is the last so we want to move our video to the last so you just need to call mp.seek and as an argument you just need to write mp.get total duration which is the total duration of your video now in order to stop your video you can call a method called uh, mp.stop so we can uh, you know in the method start we can uh, just move the video to the start and then after this we can stop our video so just write mp.stop here okay so you can add one more button for uh, this stopping but i'm going to just uh, add this in the start function uh, so you know uh, there is a method called stop from which you can stop the video also so these are our functions or method which we want to use now let's open our main.fxml file and we will call these uh, method in the button functionality so right click on your main.fxml file and open with scene builder and in the scene builder we are going to uh, go to the containers and we are going to take the horizontal box and drag and drop at the bottom of your border, border pane okay and then we will go to controls and we will take some buttons one two three four five and six let's see how many methods we have one two three four five six seven so we need one more button so just take one more button from here and then add the method name so first button is play second button is pause third button is fast fourth button is slow fifth button is reload sixth button is start and the seventh button is stop okay now uh, let's add these method to this button so select your first uh, button and then go to the code property here and then in on action uh, uh, method here or on action event here just choose the method called play from here okay for the pause just choose pause for the fast just choose uh, fast and for the slow just choose the slow method and then for the reload choose reload for the start choose the start and for the stop choose the stop stop we don't have right so we need to name it as last right we have the last method so just choose the last method okay and then save your code and then refresh your projects right click and refresh and then run your application once again and now you can see you have uh, buttons in your uh, you know applications right so for example i want to play my video i can just hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how you can add java apex support in your eclipse id now, press the play button so it will play my video and now i'm going to pause it so this is going to pause my video now if you want to uh, play the video in the faster rate we will see uh, this functionality in a moment but let's reload the video so just uh, click this reload button and it's going okay. to reload it and play it now uh, let's press the start button and it's going to uh, you know uh, place your video to the starting position and let's press the last button it's going to place your video to the last position right let me uh, minimize my volume a little and once again play it and now it's playing okay now in order to play your video faster you need to press this button so let me uh, increase the volume and let me press this button and you can just hear it so it's uh, playing faster which is two times faster than the normal uh, rate 
and now you can press slow button and now it's uh, playing slow okay but when you press play once again here it's also playing in the same rate so this time in the play button you need to add the functionality to set the rate to the one or original rate so you just need to go to your play button and here you just need to write mp dot set rate and you need to uh, you know add one here which will play your video in the original rate okay and run it and you can check the functionality once again so in this way you can add uh, these uh, extra functionalities to your media player and maybe i will add one more video to uh, you know add volume bar and other functionality uh, i don't know if i'm going to make this video or not but stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now